souped up speed machines. I don't know if they're racing cars or launching rockets. Death defined drivers. Our only goal is to be faster than everybody else. And a breakthrough fuel burning up the track at 200 miles per hour. 100% fuel grade ethanol in the cars. Probably the most highly tuned cars on the planet. In the next two days, top racers are making history and putting Eco Energy to the ultimate road test. For diehard racing fans like me, the IRL, the Indy Racing League, is the ultimate adrenaline rush. For the first time in history, all of the Indy cars in the Indy Racing League will be running on 100% fuel grade ethanol. And I'm here to find out if it can outperform gasoline. One of the questions we always get about ethanol is, is, is it good for my car? And uh, really, that's, that's why it's such a good fit for the IndyCar series, because we're going to be able to show that it's a high-performance fuel, but you can have environmental responsibility at the same time. Jeff's the official driver for the Sleek Speedmobile, sponsored by Epic, the Ethanol Promotion and Information Council. And today, Jeff's got an added responsibility, putting ethanol to a full-throttle race run. We're trying to get our, our first real test of the 100% ethanol. We got a chance to do a little bit of testing on it before, but really this is gonna be our, our first extensive testing on it. To make it as an Indy fuel, this Eco Energy's gotta go past high performance to warp speed. But though this Eco fuel is potent, it's nothing to sneeze at. The environmental footprint of an ethanol plant is amazingly clean. A 40 million gallon ethanol plant can be built and run on a site as small as 12 acres. But how was ethanol made? We take our own particular process to 200 proof. So the stuff that we have running at Indy and everything starts out as a 200 proof pure grain alcohol. We are regulated by the BATF, Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. And um, we have to make it, add something to it to make it non-drinkable. Otherwise, we've got the good old Kentucky moonshine. But how does ethanol perform in these race cars? Well, it's time to put the pedal to the metal and find out. After his final lap, I checked in with Jeff to see how he did overall. He hit a top speed of 132 miles per hour, right on target. How did he stack up against the competition? Four tenths of a second would have put a second, so that's how close wow. it gets. Okay. Yeah. Not bad for the new kid on the block. And as for ethanol, this EcoFuel's a knockout. With exceptional mileage, lighter fuel load, and test speeds nudging the 200 mile per hour mark, Indy teams have no doubt They've got a fuel to power them into the 21st century.